So I was just thinking of how did I get into astrobiology um, and why, uh, how I ended up being so far interested in what I do, particularly the chemical aspect, which is looking for you know tiny traces of life around the world. And um, uh, and and I realised I've, I've always been interested in it. I mean, it's it, it's always. This is why I say, you know, if you're thinking, hmm, perhaps I'll do astrobiology or tax accountancy or gardening, you know, mm -hmm. go and do the thing that's easy and make money. If you think, I just need to know this, then that's a different matter. And I, I realise when thinking about that, I've always, want, always been interested in it, always wanted to know right from, you know. And oddly enough, always been interested in music too, though I'm much better at astrobiology than I am at music. So <laughs> okay. we'll, um, we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, <laughs> When I was a boy, I looked up with great joy at the lights that shine in the night sky. Because I knew through TV there were worlds there to see, and I'd visit them all by and by. All the men were courageous, the women curvaceous, every planet had breathable air. And the only unknown in my far future home was if William A. Shatner was there. So from that day I knew just what I had to do I knew what my mission should be I'd go to the places with alien races Known to astrobiology <laughs> At high school I found that the planets around Were not friendly as shown on TV And the chances were bad that the solar system Had other worlds habitable by me I learned Mars was too dry, and on Venus you'd fry, on Mercury you'd get more than a tan. And Saturn looked grand, but if you tried to land, you'd be crushed into deep frozen spam. But I did not despair, cause I hoped that up there, somewhere in the wide galaxy, we'd find some strange home where the LG and the Roman could talk astrobiology. <laughs> At college they said that the life that we led was not average for Earth life at all. And the plants and the fungus would surely outnumber us and microbes would outmass them all. There were bugs in volcanoes, bugs living in ice flows, bugs lived ten miles underground. And the aliens we meet wouldn't have hands and feet, they'd be tiny and smelly and round. But I was just fine with finding life signs, though their source was too small to see. Their chemical matter would give me the data to do astrobiology. Last verse. Now I'm an old man, and at long last we can see the planets around other suns. But all that they show is how little we know, and we're pretty much back to square one. But for all our confusion, those worlds in profusion show more habitats than we dreamt. So we'll keep up our hopes and our big telescopes and we'll work for the happy event. When in the IR of some far distant star those clear spectral life signs we'll see. And at last we'll have shown that we you're not alone, all thanks to astrobiology. Very good. Very good. Well, there you go. That's, a, a, that's a lovely song. <laughs> that's a, it's not as, as usually when people put all those scientific words into a song, it's like, it just, it just hurts. Yeah. <laughs> that's very good. Well, there we go. So, yeah, um, to come back to your question, I, th I think it's... it's if you have a passion for doing this, if you feel, you know, this is, and, and the truth is, is of science generally. I mean, doing science, really doing science as a career, um, you know, doing a PhD is long and incredibly hard work and very badly paid and spectacularly frustrating and dull. I mean, when it boils down to it. And the only thing that carries you through it is thinking the excitement that when you actually find something, um, when you, um, you know, when you see that little nugget of truth at that, um, and think, wow, um, 
I've done a song about that too, but I'm not going to do that one as well. So. <laughs> oh, you're not. Come on. <laughs> that was such a great song. Well, what about Discovery? Uh, about being a scientist. Oh, well, we'd love to hear it. The, this is an audience of astrobiologists, scientists who would be seriously? like to... Yes, seriously. Okay, well, we'd... You, you, might, you might need to get... Um, you might need to get copyright permission for this, all right, because this uh, isn't my tune. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, if, um, it, if I can't do that, I'll just cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was actually inspired by uh, the last Abtycom when they, they had an open mic evening, uh -huh. and a guy did um, a, a fantastic variant on Don McLean's American Pie oh. about what it was like to run Abtycom. Oh. It inspired me to do another Don McLean song. Okay. Starry, starry night In the lab at 3 a.m. Hardware has gone down again The sun will rise before this run is through This is what we do Twelve hour days and sixty weeks Earning just enough to keep the landlord from throwing me out on the street. Now I think I know why my friend. No. I've lost the chords on that. That's alright, keep on going, keep on going. Um, uh, okay. Now I think I see. Why my friends join consultancies Or took that boring job at a Wall Street bank The ethics of it stand But they earn in a week More than I do in a year Just hanging on in here Starry, starry night Take the red pen to the pro Anything half decent goes Leaves just what even referees can get And it's not published yet Then I must write a PhD Try to make my parties seem As dull as reading phone directories Now I think I know why lit majors despise me so? My school friends book reviewed in the Times and Post And all that I can boast Is seventh author on a paper in Act J Which no one reads anyway Starry, starry night Data has come through at last a single point with error bars refutes what we believed just yesterday. What will my PI say? A pet theory done in place. A goodbye to tenure and to fame. And I must write a CV yet again. Now I understand. By the postdocs left and joined the band The same long hours, the same uncertain pay And at the end of day The universe won't turn and say they're wrong You can't refute the song Then the rising sun Likes the data I have won And I feel the thrill seen before I found out something beautiful and true and the world's a little wiser for it and for me just that will do <laughs> very good very good excellent excellent a bit of editing and splicing in the middle <laughs> <laughs> apart from that yeah. Yeah. remind me of